Hey Sagittarius, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here on St. Patrick's Day doing a little special reading for you. Okay, so we're just going to take a look at, you know, how you have impacted overall somebody's life. Okay, somebody that's in your life, a connection, a relationship, or it could be anybody. Okay, so this is about why somebody feels lucky to have you in their life or why they have felt lucky to um, have you in their life, maybe in the past, maybe in the, in the present. So this is these two cards are about them, what it is that they feel lucky about as far as having you in their life. The next two cards are about what lessons have they learned because of you. And then the third cards are about how the two of you connect, maybe spiritually or how you connect psychically or through signs and symbols, situations or experiences. And then finally, how have you inspired this person in their life? How have you inspired this person in their own life. All right, so let's see. Why does this person feel lucky to have you in their life? Individuality. So they might see you as somebody that is, you know, a true individual that you, you know, um, you march to the the beat of your own drum, so to speak, and this person really appreciates that. You're not a go along with the, the crowd type of person. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. You know, and I feel like this is, you, you know, you're not only an individual that you know, does their own thing and says what's on their mind. Um, you know, you do it in a, a memorable and happy way, a way that people, you know, accept it or appreciate your individuality. This person that you might be with might be scared to death to stand up on their own. And you show them how to do that. You show them that it's okay to do that. You show them that it's okay to embrace your weirdness, right? What else? What else? We've got unity. So this is another reason this person feels lucky to have met you. You know, there, there really might be a true understanding between the two of you. You really understand each other. Um, it's a very cohesive type of connection, or maybe it was at some point. Um, it says you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. So the two of you, I feel like brought out like the best love in each other. Like this could be unconditional love. There was a display of unconditional love and that energy ripples, you know, across the universe, which is beautiful. And, you know, it's like there are very few people, I feel like, that come across your path that really, that you really experience true unity with. Okay, so this might be somebody that truly was very, very special to you. Or, you know, you were very special to them and still are if, if this person is around you. So what lessons did this person learn? Freedom. Interesting. So even though we had or there was a special, beautiful type of unity between the two of you, it was like there was no doubt that we trusted each other as well. So while we had this strong connection, this possible unconditional love, we also were perfectly fine giving 
all the freedom that the other person needed. That's really, that's a new paradigm for a relationship. That, I feel like that's a beautiful way to have relationship. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So the freedom, they feel like you have given them the freedom to create whatever it is that they want, whatever makes them happy in life, without judgment, and with full support. So that is beautiful. What else here? What else have they learned? Blame. So they're not learning blame. They're learning not to blame. So what this person has learned from you is that they accept responsibility for their own well-being. You know, it's, it's a waste of time to spend ener any energy blaming somebody else for your circumstances, okay? Because first of all, you chose those circumstances in some form or fashion, whether you realize it or not. And secondly, you know, it's like embrace the good, but embrace the bad because there are lessons and, you know, positive aspects to both. And I feel like your person has learned that. So this is, you know, you might have taken somebody from being a complainer and shifting the blame to, you know, really being able to take accountability and responsibility for where they are at in life. And they're much happier because of it, okay? You know, we're not going to experience unconditional love when we're blaming other people or spending a lot of time doing that, okay? So let's see. How did the two of you connect? What do we have? All right, so we have the tree of life. You know, I feel like this is like the energy of the universe. Um, the tree of life. You know, there are paintings of the tree of life. And it's... This to me feels like universal energy. And it's extremely empowering to both of you. It's like you both feel the universe supporting the con connection and you both feel the universe supporting you individually as well. What else? Epiphany. So an epiphany, you know, is like, oh my gosh, it's like an awakening. It's uh, a realization. It's like a light bulb moment. You know, both of you might have shared a light bulb moment together about this connection. You know, there might have been a specific moment between the two of you where the universe might have stepped in and illuminated to both of you that here's your person. Okay. So how is this person, how has this person been inspired by you? A deep secret will come to light. All right, so, you know, there might be something between the two of you that, that only the two of you know about. And, you know, it might be, it might be a secret, it might be a secret from the world, it might be a secret from the people that um, that are in your life. This could be, I don't know, this could be a long-term connection or a long-distance connection or a long-lost love that's a secret that you've never forgotten or that hasn't forgotten you. A deep secret will come to light. And in some way, this inspires your person. So what else do we have here? Share your wisdom with others. Shine your light. So it feels like whether you realize it or not, you have made a huge impact on this person. You have sh uh, shown your light on this person, maybe helping this person to realize 
you know, the universal impact of the connection the two of you might have here, okay? It's, it's really, it might have spawned this person to be literally a new person, a brand new person that, you know, embraces their individuality and, you know, understands that the love shared between the two of you has this ripple effect across the universe. So when you are in this energy, high vibration of shining your light, it, it's like it affects the entire world. All right, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you for your little St. Patty's Day message. But, you know, it's really about taking a minute and, you know, appreciating yourself and everything that you do for other people. And, you know, I want to thank you for everything you do for my channel and for following me for however long you've followed me for and supporting me, um, you know, through maybe a little bit of a roller coaster for me in the last um, little while. So I do appreciate that. And uh, yeah, so that's what I got for you. So I hope you enjoy your St. Patty's Day and, you know, you enjoy a green beer and yeah, have fun. And I will talk to you next time. All right. Bye.